Hi, my name is Dagmar, and in this series, I'm going to give you tips on how to effectively work with the new Outlook for the web. Has it ever happened to you that you send an email to the wrong person? Don't worry, Outlook has your back, and it allows you to recall such email. Okay, so let's say I want to ask my colleague about some details about the project we work on together. So I'm going to create new mail, new message. I'm gonna pick who I'm going to send it to, which is Ernest Corey. I'm gonna also uh, put here subject, so details about Unicorn, which is the project. And then I'm gonna ask EJ about some details. So, hi EJ, um, what's the deadline for Unicorn? Thanks for reply, Dagmar. Okay, I'm gonna just do this. And now when it's ready, I'm just gonna send the message. Okay, but now I've just recalled that it's not EJ who knows about these details about the project. He actually takes care of some other part of the project. So we have to fix the situation, right? So I'm gonna go to send items, then I'm gonna click on email I've just sent to EJ. And I'm gonna click here the three dots, go to advanced actions and click recall message. Now Microsoft asks me whether I want to do that or not. Of course I do. And now when it's done, I'm gonna go back to inbox. And as you can see, within just a few seconds, I got the confirmation email from Microsoft that um, actually, the message was recalled, so everything's fine right now. I can read some details about it, but it's okay. So great, I can keep this um, confirmation just in case if it was a more important email, I just can keep it, you know, for future use. Um, and now I can create a new message for the right colleague, which is John, who knows what's the deadline for Unicorn. And that's it. So now you know how to recall an email in Outlook. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell to get notified every time there's a new video. I'll see you soon.